How was the food that you guys had? Lobster. Is that the lobster? Good. It was good? We also had some sea bao, oh the beef bulgogi. Very, very good. Tree corn. Oh, wow. You got so tacos like too? Yes. You guys oh. went in. Oh, Okay, so we got Brandon here. He's got the team with him here. We can show the people at home. Oh, oh. Yo, what's up, guys? Your boy Kells. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we are in Prospect Park, Brooklyn. We're gonna go find some of the best cheap meats they have at Smorgasburg. Smorgasburg is pretty much the Woodstock of eating. They have so many food options, so many vendors, so many good people out here promoting their food and promoting what they do. So if you guys are ready, you know I'm ready, let's do it. Yo, guys, just gonna go around and see what they have. There's so many people here. Let's walk around and see what we can find for now. Cheese steaks right there. So it's your Thursday today, bro. Is yeah, that good? Yeah, it's that good. Is that good? Okay. That good. That's what's up, man. Alright, bro, so I'm gonna have a hat for me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to watch my figure right now, so. I'm gonna go with the high. And I don't, I don't no onions, no onions for me. Yeah, no onions. Appreciate you. I'm a cheese lover though. There we go, look at that. Wow. That's perfect, bro. How you doing? Nine dollars? I got you. Do you take coupons? Thank you. Appreciate you. All right, guys, we got the cheesesteak here. Look at this. I cannot wait to try it. So, like I said, guys, it came a little late today, but you know, there's still time to grab some food and to dig in. So, I'm just gonna dig in on this right now and see what it tastes like and let you guys know. Who doesn't love cheesesteak, though? Shout out to Philly. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Wow, okay. First thing first, the meat is really well seasoned. You have to season your meat. I don't know if you guys have ever had a cheese stick and you taste it and it tastes like just steak and no flavor, no seasoning. You have to marinate your meat before you cook it, 100%. The cheese hits on it too. It's like a cheese whiz. I'm not sure what kind of cheese you guys like on your cheese sticks, but some people like American, some people like provolone, Swiss. Me, I gotta go with the cheese whiz. You gotta drip that thing on top and it's gonna be lit. Mm, so good. Mm. Wow. Look at that. An important part of the cheese stick is, hands down, the bread. You need the whole thing to be right. You can't have any hard bread. You need to be soft, delicious, not too chewy, but fresh and big. Yo, this is crazy. So the full cheese stick was 14 and the half was nine. Honestly, guys, this is probably a great cheap eat for nine bucks. 
It's so filling. You have to come through the smorgasbord and check it out. Can you get off of it? It's been a while since I had a cheesecake last time, but I don't know if I've had one this good in a long time. So smorgasbord's getting ready to close soon. We're gonna rate this up and try to get something else before they do. So, on a scale of one to five, five being the best I'll ever have, one being not so great, we're gonna give the cheesecake from smorgasbord a 4.5 for sure. It's that good. The meat is really well seasoned. I like the hokey. The cheese wears is perfect. Let me finish this up, then we'll head to the next pot. So this is Lobster Dominance right here next to us. You see the line for that. If you guys are lobster people, definitely come through the Prospect Park and check it out. Uh, actually, I do vlogs, bro, on YouTube. Yeah, I do food and travel vlogs, my bro. Brandon, right? Yeah. All right, bro, so we got Brandon here. He's getting ready to try, what do you have there? Taiwan pork butt. Taiwan pork butt, okay, he's got, the, he's got the team with him here. All right, B, show the people at home. Real nice. Pork joint, okay, it looks pretty good, man. The juices come out. Oh, <laughs> so good. What are your first thoughts, B? What do you think? It melted in my mouth. Very good consistency. <laughs> Okay. Have the texture. Exactly where it needs to be. Exactly where it needs to be. That's all. It looks. It looks super moist too, bro. It is. It is. Wow. Juicy. Not dry. Right. Okay. So how much did you pay for that, bro? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Okay. Do you feel like that was a fair price for, for what you had? Big one. Yeah. I think it's yeah. Big you think it's a fair price? To be fair. Yeah. Okay. So what else did you guys have today? Did you have anything else good today? Chicken bun? Okay. That looks very interesting. That looks amazing too. Chicken. This is the chicken. Oh, no, no, oh the that dog. looks really good. We got the duck. That's the duck. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you. Thanks for being on this channel. Definitely check it out. It's great meeting you, man. Oh, absolutely, bro. So this spot right here has a pork pie bun that looks amazing. The color looks unbelievable. So tell me how this works, brother. How do you guys cook this up here? Wow. And how long does uh, one batch take to cook? Oh, 15 minutes. Okay. How you doing, Queen? Good to see you. We get to choose five for 10, right? Make a three pork, and then I do two beef, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Those look amazing though too. Ten dollars, appreciate you. Mm. Thank you. Ladies, how you doing? Doing well, how are you? I'm great, my name is Kelsey. I appreciate you for being on the channel. Of course. So, Hi, Kelsey. What's your name? Isis. Isis? And what's your name, darling? Shauna. Shauna, Isis and Shauna. So did you guys have a good time at Smorgasburg? Yeah, you did? did? Okay. Sure. It was a bit crowded, but it was still good. How was the food that you guys had? Is that the lobster? It was good. We also had some sea bow, beef, bulgogi. Very, very good. Three corn. Oh, wow. You got tacos, too? You guys went in. We had a whole lot, a whole lot. Okay. 
walked in for sure. There's no way nobody left alive, right? Nothing left. Okay. Well, I appreciate your, your input today, ladies. You know, hopefully I can see you on the channel. Definitely support. Okay. But thanks so much. Say bye. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, you too. <laughs> Alright guys, we have our second dish of the day. We have the Lao Bao. It looks so good. Probably looking at the colors and wondering what's the difference between the colors. The white ones are actually pork and the orange ones are beef. I wanted the chicken but they sold out. Let's go ahead and try the bao and see what it's hit for. I think we should start with the pork one. So this is the white side. This is the crispy side. I see my buddy over there cook it up. Man, I can't tell you what it smelled like coming off of the grill. So let's try the pork one. Mm. Wow, the pork is nicely seasoned. Mm. That's crazy. Look at that. You guys like it to be crispy. Mm. On the inside, the juices are flowing. The texture is just right. The softness from the dough and the crunchiness of the bottom mixed well with the actual pork on the inside. Not too heavily seasoned, but seasoned just right. That's interesting. Definitely seasoned with something different. The dough actually tastes a little bit different as well. I wonder if they make a different dough, but man, this is really good too. Wow. Wow, I've only had bao a couple of times before. But these, off the chain. All right guys, we tried both of the bows. I think it's time to rate them up. I'm gonna scale them one to five. Five being the best I've ever had, one being not so great. We're gonna give the pork bow a 4.75. It's that good. I was really surprised about this. The flavor, the crunch, the texture, the consistency. Wow. We're gonna give the beef bow. We're gonna give us a 4.5. Guys, definitely have to come through and try these. These are so bomb. Such a good vibe out here today, guys. I don't know if you guys have these type of open air style markets or places you can go to that have food festivals where they have amazing food and amazing vendors. Do you guys have any big food festivals where you are? So that pretty much wraps it up for today's episode. Came to Smorgasburg here in Prospect Park and tried some amazing food here. Yo, you guys have to come through and check it out. I may have to come back and try some more things out. But until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed it. It's your boy Kells. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay dangerous. We out.